Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about fast scan ultrasound probe positioning. FAST stands for Focused Assessment with Sonography for Trauma. It is an emergency ultrasound scan performed in setting of accidents and trauma. It is a quick scan which is performed to look for internal bleeding. On the left side is a schematic diagram showing probe placement on a patient in a supine position. These dotted lines are the right and left coastal margins. The sternum will be here. So this is the substernal area. This is the umbilicus and down here this area is the pubic symphysis. This white box is the ultrasound probe. This red dot is the indicator or the orientation marker. Fast scan starts by placing the probe in the midline transversely in the upper abdomen just below the sternum then it is tilted or angled towards the patient's head and the area beneath the coastal margins is scanned placing the probe in this manner we will get this type of image the left lobe of the liver is seen as the uppermost structure the right ventricle is seen first it will appear more towards the top of the screen and it has a more elongated shape compared to the left ventricle which will be seen below. The indicator or the orientation marker is towards the patient's right side. Modify the depth and field of view as needed. Position the focal zone at the midpoint of the left ventricle. The region around the heart is the area of interest during a fast scan. We need to look for anechoic fluid within the pericardial spaces. This is the pericardium and fluid will be accumulated within the pericardial space in case of pericardial effusion. After that, position the probe longitudinally in the right upper quadrant to capture the images of the right kidney and the right lobe of the liver. This is a longitudinal plane, so the indicator is towards the head of the patient. You can move the probe across one of the lower intercostal spaces to remove rib shadows and obtain a favorable image. Our region of interest is the Morrison's pouch. That is the potential space between the right lobe of the liver and the right kidney. We can also see the pleural space as well as the diaphragm. Fluid can also be found below the diaphragm and we may also see pleural fluid in case of pleural effusion. Move the probe downwards and position it roughly between the right coastal margin and the iliac crest to scan the right paracolic gutter space. There is the area around the inferior pole of the right kidney and the inferior margin of the liver. Free fluid may also be found in this region, so make sure to examine this area. You can angle the probe towards the patient's spine and slightly towards the patient's head. This can help in locating the right paracolic gutter space. Adjust the depth and gain as needed to obtain clear images. Slowly sweep the probe along the area, paying attention to the 
potential spaces where fluid might collect. Look for any anechoic or hypoechoic areas which might suggest the presence of free fluid. Next, position the probe longitudinally in the left upper quadrant to view the left kidney and spleen as well as the left hemidiaphragm and pleural space. You can also scan across one of the lower intercoastal spaces. You can place the probe within the lower intercoastal spaces for a better view. It can also help in removing the rib shadows. You can place the probe in a one o'clock position and you can get this type of image. Fluid may be found between the spleen and the left kidney. And another important location is the left paracolic gutter, which is over here. Fluid may also be accumulated in this region. The next region to scan is the pelvis. Place the probe in a transverse plane above the symphysis pubis in the suprapubic region. The orientation marker will be towards the patient's right. Look for the bladder which will be an anechoic structure. It may appear full in some patients while in other patients it may appear collapsed depending on the bladder volume. Modify the depth and field of view to target the region directly behind the bladder. In women, this will be the area where the uterus is located posteriorly to the bladder. And behind the uterus will be the rectum. Free fluid will be found between the uterus and the rectum or between the vagina and the rectum. This area is known as the pouch of Douglas. In males, you will find the bladder and posterior to the bladder, you will find the prostate. The rectum will be posterior to the prostate. These are the shadows due to the pelvic bones. The area of interest will be between the rectum and the prostate or the rectovesical pouch. This is the region where free fluid will be found. You can also scan the pelvic region in longitudinal plane. Direct the probe indicator towards the patient's head. Position the probe in the midline in the suprapubic region and you will get this type of image in a female patient. This is the uterus. Keep an eye out for free fluid behind the uterus in this region, that is the pouch of Douglas. This is an image of a male patient. The probe placement is same as in the previous image. You may find free fluid behind the bladder. Scanning the lung is part of the E-FAST or extended fast exam. The lung can be scanned to check for a pneumothorax. You can start by placing the probe in the second or third intercoastal space in the mid-clavicular line on the right side. The indicator on the probe will be towards the patient's head. Place the probe perpendicular to the ribs. You will see the ribs as hyperechoic lines with an acoustic shadow beneath them. Between the ribs, the pleural line appears as another bright horizontal line. The area above the line is the chest wall and the area below is the lung. Move the probe 
downwards and laterally to check different intercoastal spaces you need to look for the sliding lung sign also known as lung sliding it is the to and fro movement of the pleural line with respiration this indicates that the visceral and parietal pleurae are in contact if you see the lung sliding no pneumothorax is present and if the lung sliding that is the to and fro movement of the pleural line is not seen this may indicate a pneumothorax after completing the right side you can move on to the left side and repeat the scan in a similar manner start by placing the probe in a longitudinal view at the second or third intercostal space in the mid clavicular line and then you can move downwards and laterally to scan the rest of the intercostal spaces thank you so much for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos